Hi everyone, Corey here from Tales from a Polk County Girl and in this video I'm showing off a new cut down flex binder that I've made. Uh, this is my camera focus keeps going off. Okay, there we go. This size travel not traveler's notebook, what am I saying? This size flex binder is a B6 size. Now Aside from the Mead Organize Her Shopping Companion that they released in the flex binder style, um, your standard size flex binder is a full size binder style. This is one that hasn't been cut down. This was this before I cut it down. So how did I do that? If you guys recall, from my, uh, not only my video that I show how to cut this thing down, but also in my article that Carrie Harling published in her paper planning, easing, um, I just measured out on the, uh, covers, and for, to cut, to make a mini flex, I call it a mini flex, but to make the half sheet size, flex binder like I do for my monster flex. It's measure out six, cut down at nine. Well, for the B6 size, I still measured out six and I didn't quite cut it at six, but that's okay. And then I measured down. Now your B6 size notebook takes seven by five paper. So six inches wide will cover you with paper. You could even go to five and a half if you wanted. I'm okay at six. Um, what I did though, I did not measure properly. It's my own fault. Mine only from top to bottom measures seven and a quarter. That's okay, I'm fine with it, it's mine. But if you wanted to be precise, you could go to seven and a half, even eight completely up to you. So I'm showing this off because I'm getting, we are getting ready to go on a trip and I'm thinking about taking this thing with me as a writing notebook. Um, if you will recall in my previous videos about making one of these, this ring mechanism is what is very hard and dangerous to cut through. The type of scissors that I use are these, they're Fiskars, and they are mean looking, aren't they? You could definitely, they are designed for yard work and cutting through uh, small um, branches. Pretty sure they could cut fingers off. I'm terrified of these things, so uh, they stay locked away when I'm, except for the few minutes that um, I'm not using them, so. If you have a pair of these, or if you have a pair of the um, slanted medical shear scissors, those might work. Anything you think could cut through this. Oh, what is on the back of my notebook? Oops. That's how thick the ring binder mechanism is. So it's about a sixteenth of an inch, but that is thick, solid plastic that you'll be cutting through. Um, the corners... I did attempt to round the corners myself by eyeballing it. Um, I do not own a corner rounder. Um, so this B6 size flex notebook is just another example of if it doesn't exist and you think you might want it, go ahead and try to make it. Um, what's that saying? Uh, necessity is the mother of invention. As much as I love my Monster Flex, and you guys know I do, look at this sucker. Um, and it's a half sheet, so this is 8 by 5 paper. It's half sheet size notebook. Sometimes I just want something smaller, and I do have the travel size one. That's skinnier and takes those refrigerator notepads. Uh, that one's out in my car right now, I forgot to bring it in for this video. Uh, but that one was too small to take and for writing purposes. So this one 
This will be great for writing, working on uh, plot bunnies and everything. And it'll fit in my uh, purse when we, um, while we're traveling around. Did my focus just go? Probably. Oh, and the paper for it. Um, if you know me on Facebook or if you've seen me in some of the other planner groups, I'm always the first one to tell you that when somebody is looking for B6 size inserts to go to Walmart to the office supply section because they have cheap notebooks there for anywhere between 88 cents and $2 depending on the brand, the style, and how many pages they are. These are just a couple, it's not all the paper. These are just a couple of those five by seven, five by seven notebooks or seven by five, if you will. Cheap notebooks from Walmart that I tore the pages out of and I literally did. I sat there on the floor in my living room tearing the pages out and then I punched them. Why is my focus going again? There we go. Um, and I hole punched them and put them in here. And if you notice, side by side, this one, it's the same paper. So I made a brain dump list one night before bed. I just took the sheet out of here, put it right into my Monster Flex. Um, the next day, I love being able to just move papers around uh, from notebook to notebook with the same ring mechanism layout. Which also means if I ever chose, this is gonna sound weird, but if I ever chose to, cause I did in a previous video, I think it was mini flex, personal size, file effects, and it was like a page hack where I figured out that personal size inserts, the 333 and 333, um, ring mechanism setup, the holes, two of the holes match up with here. So I could even put personal size inserts in here if I wanted. I'm not saying I'm going to do that, but it is an option. I love having options because God knows my mind changes with the wind. So I'm happy to answer any questions. This is the latest mini flex in my collection. I love this color. Um, I debated on whether or not to use this particular flex binder because I love the color so much and I didn't want to ruin it. And I eventually convinced myself by telling myself, look, you know it's going to work. You've cut th these things down before. You love this color, which means you're going to use it. And of course, I was right. I just had to convince myself. So it's so, so pretty. I love it. And of course, standard uh, ballpoint pens do fit in here. And I just clip them like that. It stays nice and secure. Even if it wasn't, it still has the ring to hold it in. Uh, because these rings are only about an inch, whereas compared to the Monster Flex, I believe these are at least two inch, maybe two and a half inch rings. So I can only fit one pen in here compared to, let me close this up real quick, the two pens I can fit in this one. No big deal, because I plan on just taking a ballpoint pen anyways. Um, ballpoint pens typically are my most reliable travel pens. Uh, yeah, so that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below, and I'll see everybody later. Bye.